In this video, we're going to cover the actions that you can do to the actual devices that you have inside your Knox Manage portal. On the left hand side here, when you're in your Knox Manage platform, you're going to click device. There's a few things I want to call out here. Status should, will show you if it's enrolled, if it's unenrolled, or if it's provisioning. Last seen means the last time that this device has checked in the portal and talked to it. You will then also get to see the device name. All device names, whenever you're deploying, if you're using each individualized user, will always say whatever the username is, underscore, Android, underscore, and the number one. If you use the same username more than one time, for example, this would say sig01 underscore android underscore two to let you know that, yes, you're using the same username, but the device name has a two at the end. You can also see the IMEI, the serial number, the username. If you were to have a device tag, is it fully managed? Mobile number if you have one and what type of enrollment and last updated. To locate the device, check on the one that you want. Right here at the top says check location. Gives you the location piece. If you wanted to go back further, once there's more days that the device has been in here, you can change the date and time and find of a bunny trail. You can change the map to be more a terrain. and satellite if you'd like and turn off labels as you see here it says to scroll we do have to hit control and scroll to zoom in and then scroll to zoom out moving on to the next piece device commands things that you get to do to the actual device so I check the device that I want and come up to the device command. Several different things you get to do. The most frequently one is, is if we've made a policy change or a profile change and it has not taken on the device, you can click the command to apply profiles. It will then send the command. You can uncheck and hit refresh. Once it says last seen is a zero, we know that it's taken. Another thing you get to do is whenever we are doing the device commands, you can install our, an updated app, which I've covered in a previous video. You can also in, uninstall an application. You can click current information location. The update uh, Knox Manage agent, that's more of an update license piece. So if you ever have a new license that needs to be updated, you can do that. You could also push a notification if need be. From the dice the device standpoint, Things that you're going to do is if someone forgot their pin code, you can click lock the device or unlock the device. You can lock the screen. You can lock the SIM pin or unlock SIM pin. And you can factory wipe the device. This factory wiping the device will bring it back to factory settings and then you then reset it back up from there. We go down to Knox Manage. You have a device that is in a kiosk mode. This is where you can send the command to exit kiosk mode without having the end user do anything. Click that, and then it'll say, do you want to exit? And you press OK. Once the device checks in, the end user then does not have the device in kiosk mode. To put kiosk mode back on, you'd then click, check the box that you want and go to device command, and you then click apply latest profiles. Next thing that you get to do is if there is a device that is no longer talking to a portal properly and you need to exit kiosk mode, if you come in here and click on the name, this is now everything about this device. You get to see the IMEI, serial number, everything, you know, here's the unlock code. If you need to lock down the device. If you need to exit the device, you'll come down here to kiosk mode status and type in this code on the device. The way that you do that is in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a little eye on the device, and it says exit kiosk mode. This is where you get that pin code. You can also do device information. Gives you iOS and your Knox product key. Gives you network. 
what all applications are on it. Any applications that need to be updated, if there is an update. Then the profile that's been assigned. What group slash organization, and remember we do everything by group uh, by organization. And then the command history, everything that we've sent the command to. And that is apply the latest app, app updates, apply the latest profile for factory wiping of the device, which I will do next. Click on here, device command, device, factory reset. We do not do anything with the SIM card. Press OK. Refresh the page. Now it shows that there's no last scene. Says that it's unenrolled. Still says SIG01. Still shows this specific IMEI. The reason why we don't do anything at this point, we want to make sure that the device itself has factory wiped. Once it goes through the factory write process, you'll click the checkbox here. And then we can delete the actual device out of our device list. Then you'll be able to reset back up from there. To recap, we now know how to locate device, remove a device, factory reset, reset pin, reset passcode, enter and exit kiosk, install or update NAV from the commands.